let us discuss what we have done in yesterday's class we have seen action of water on the following metals what were the four metals yes we have studied about action of water with potassium with sodium and calcium they react with water in cold conditions whereas magnesium reacts with boiling water and produces hydrogen it forms magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen whereas magnesium it also reacts with steam forming magnesium oxide and hydrogen now let us see the action of steam action of steam on the other metals like aluminium when steam is passed okay through aluminium metal it forms aluminium oxide plus hydrogen gas is evolved this aluminium oxide is a white coat the, the which is formed in the re, during the reaction forms a coat on the aluminium and does not allow the further reaction but if we maintain the temperature around 800 degrees centigrade the white coating can be it can be broken off and aluminium continues to react with steam and hydrogen gas is produced let us see when steam is passed through hot zinc it forms zinc oxide and hydrogen gas is evolved this zinc oxide has a characteristic color when it is hot it is yellow in color and when it is cold it is white in color let's move on with the next when steam is passed through red hot iron it forms Fe3O4 that is triferric tetroxide and hydrogen gas is evolved. The evolved hydrogen if it is not separated or not collected timely it reduces this hydrogen gas reduces the oxide of iron to iron and steam therefore it is a reversible reaction based on the reaction of water with metals they can be arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity so arrangement of series of metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity is called activity series this is another method hydrogen can be prepared by the displacement of hydrogen from dilute acids for this to understand clearly let us tabulate in this form it contains three columns the metals whether it displaces hydrogen from dilute acids or not nature of the reaction potassium sodium and calcium they displace hydrogen from dilute acid and the nature of the reaction is very explosive magnesium aluminium and zinc they do displace hydrogen from dilute acids not explosively but vigorously iron nickel tin and lead they do displace hydrogen from dilute acids 
very gently. Then the metals which are below hydrogen, okay, These, this is a reference. The metals which are kept below hydrogen like copper, mercury, silver, gold and platinum, they cannot displace hydrogen from dilute acids. So we can say the metals are passive towards dilute acid or there is no reaction. These metals react with dilute acids and form salt and release hydrogen. Okay. That's why these are called as active metals. So metal, when metals react with dilute acid, dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid, it forms respective salt and hydrogen gas is evolved. For example, zinc reacts with dilute HCl to form zinc chloride, which is a salt. Along with that, hydrogen gas is evolved. When the same metal reacts with dilute sulfuric acid, the equation is it forms zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas is evolved. Now, I want you all to write today's homework is writing balanced chemical equation reaction of four metals. Which are the four metals? Zinc, magnesium, aluminium and iron. Just Write the equations, balanced equation, reaction of these metals with dilute acid and dilute sulfuric acids. Third of preparing hydrogen. Displacement of hydrogen from alkalis. The condition of the alkalis is hot and concentrated. When zinc reacts with hot and concentrated sodium hydroxide, it forms a soluble salt called Na2ZnO2 that is sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas is evolved. Similarly, when zinc reacts with another alkali that is pot potassium hydroxide, it forms its soluble salt that is potassium zincate A2ZnO2 plus hydrogen gas is evolved. Lead also reacts with sodium hydroxide forming a soluble salt called sodium plumbite Na2PbO2. This is the salt which is soluble plus hydrogen gas is evolved. Lead reacts with so potassium hydroxide and forms its respective soluble salt potassium plumbite K2PbO2 plus hydrogen gas is evolved. Aluminium reacts with sodium hydroxide, okay, hot and concentrated sodium hydroxide. It forms the salt, soluble salt, sodium aluminate plus hydrogen, Na3AlO3. When aluminium reacts with dilute alkali, to dilute the alkali, add some quantity of water, then the salt which is formed is sodium metaaluminate plus hydrogen. Sodium metaaluminate is NaAlO2. All these equations are not balanced. Please balance them.